Hello, and welcome to the Inspire Academy Beginner's English. Today's lesson is Unit 10, and it's about nouns. So we're going to take a look at what is a noun, countable nouns, and non-countable nouns. So what is a noun? A noun is a word that can be, uh, can be people, places, or things, or the name of a person, place, or thing. So if you take a look at these pictures, a noun can be people or a noun can be a person. Uh, this person who is dancing, the noun could be Mary or Billy or uh, Frank. Okay, it could be the name of the person. It could be a place. So it could be Europe or Africa or South America. It could be um, Canada or the United States or Australia or Russia uh, or India. So it could be the name of a place or it could be the name of a building. Uh, okay, so also it could be a thing. It could be a house or a car or a computer or a cell phone uh, or a mobile phone or bananas or a dog or a cat or a horse or it could be the dog's name like Rover. Rover could be a noun as well. Okay so examples of nouns are man, woman, girl, boy, teacher, farmer, and cook. Uh, names could be Alex, Mary, Mr. Jones, uh, a place could be school, office, factory, home, the a country like France, a station, and a thing could be a cat, dog, banana, monkey, desk, chair, car, song, even emotions like love and hate. Those are what nouns are. So here, let's take a look at, at nouns in a sentence. The lady walked. The noun is the lady. The sentence is about the lady. What did she do? She walked. My friend has a dog. The sentence is about the noun, my friend. My friend is the subject of the sentence. What does she have? She has a dog. The house was painted blue. The noun is the house. The noun is the subject of the sentence. What was it painted? It was painted blue. Grass is growing. Snow is on the ground. Canada is a big country. A noun can be both a subject of a sentence and the object of a verb. What this means is that the, 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 the sentence is about Canada. We are saying that Canada is 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 a form of the verb to be. Canada is, is what? Is a big country. The object answers the question, what? Well, what about Canada? It's a big country. So nouns can be the subject of a verb or the object of, or the ob object of a verb. For example, Canada is a noun and it is the subject of the verb to be. To be is in the form is the word is, is. Country is also a noun, but it's the object of the verb to be, and it answers the question, what? Canada is what? Canada is a country. Countable nouns, and we're going to look at now countable nouns and later on non-countable nouns. Countable nouns are nouns you can count, like dog, cat, animal, man, person. You can have 10 dogs, 5 cats, 20 animals, 3, three men, and 20 people. Bottles and boxes. Yes, you can count. You can have 20 bottles or 50 boxes. Coins, like the dollar or the euro or the yen or so many di different other kinds of currency, the British pound, um, a dinar or a lira. 
So many different kinds of currencies. Yes, you can count them. They're countable. Cups, plates, spoons, um, other things that you would put in a kitchen, you can count them. Small appliances like a toaster oven, um, a refrigerator, they're countables. Tables, chairs, suitcases, countable. Cars, trucks, and even things in nature like trees and lakes. Yes, all countable. So here are some rules for countable nouns. They can be single, singular, a man, or they can be plural, men. They can be singular, one dog, singular. Many dogs, or ten dogs, plural. Or, and they can be counted. Okay, so those are the rules. Now, here are some examples. My dog is playing. My dog is the noun. My dogs are hungry. The verb, of course, the verb has to be in agreement with the noun or the subject. Okay? Because the noun is the subject of the verb. It has to be in agreement. In agreement. So when it's plural, dogs are hungry. Can I have a dollar? Can I have twenty dollars? So dollars, again, countable. I want a car. I drove two cars. I need ten boxes for 120 bottles. The room is full of tables and chairs. The rooms are full of tables and chairs. Uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are also nouns, but you can't count them. Uncountable nouns are things like music, art, love, happiness, like feelings, like love and happiness, advice, information, news, furniture, luggage, rice, sugar, butter, water, electricity, gas, power, money, currency, Okay, those are all nouns and they're not countable. Uncountable nouns are always singular. They cannot be plural. You can use the word, if you want to quantify them, you can use the word of, an ounce of love, a bottle of water, 10 bottles of water. But water cannot be waters. Waters is not a word. Okay, some luggage. You, can't, you cannot say luggages. You say some luggage, more electricity, any rice. You don't say a hundred rices. No, that doesn't make sense. Just rice, any rice, some rice. Do you have ice cream? Okay, you can't say, do you have ice creams? Okay, so you have, do you have some ice cream? So here's some examples. Do you have any money? You can use the word any with uncountable nouns. Happiness comes from inside you. Do you have some advice? You can use the word some with countable nouns. No news is good news. I need a cup of sugar. A cup of sugar or 20 cups of sugar, you could say, because cups is a noun that is countable. So you would say cup of sugar. Can I have a bottle of water? Can I have 10 bottles of water? Water doesn't change. It's not countable. I moved the furniture. Can I bring you some wine? Some wine. You could say, can I bring you some wine? Or can I uh, bring you a bottle of wine? Or can I bring you 10 bottles of wine? But you can't say, can I bring you wines? That does not make sense. Can I bring you a case of wine? A case or 10 cases? Okay. So more about countable and non-countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns can be dollar. Dollars are countable. But money, money is not countable. 
$10, some money. 10 songs, some music. Music is not countable. 20 suitcases, a lot of luggage, of luggage, a lot of luggage. Wires, you can say wires, but you can't say electricities. You have to, you, you would have to say some electricity or a lot of electricity, a lot of electricity. Bottles, but not wines, a bottle of wine. You could say reports, news reports, but you, you can't say newses. You could say the news, or you could say news reports. Tip, advice. Journey, travel. You could say journeys. Okay, so job, work. View, scenery, spoons, silverware. Okay, when you're talking about a set of silverware or many sets of silverware. Okay, so here's some questions. Which of the following sentences is not correct? Can you give him some, can you give him four monies? Can you give him some money? Can you give him four dollars? Which of the following sentences is not correct? You must move the furnitures. Do you have any furniture? The couches and the tables will be delivered soon. Which of the following sentences is not correct? I need a change of scenery. You Did you see the beautiful scenery? There are so many sceneries outside. And the answers are, which of the following sentences is not correct? Can you give him four monies? You cannot turn, you cannot count money, M monies, and make it monies. Monies is uncountable. Money, the word money, the noun money is uncountable. Which of the following sentences is not correct? You must move the furnitures. Furniture is not countable. You cannot make it furnitures. All you have to say is you must move the furniture without the S. Which of the following sentences is not correct? There are so many sceneries outside. You cannot say sceneries. You can, scenery is not countable. You cannot make it plural. Instead, you could say there are so many nice views outside. You could say that. Okay, so here's the class recap. And uh, what is a noun? A word. A noun is a word that can be the people, people, places, or things, or the name of a person, place, or, or thing. And a noun can be a subject of a sentence or an object of a sentence. Countable nouns. You can you can have one single person place or thing, or you could have many people, places, or things. Count, countable nouns can be single, singular or plural. You can say dog, or you can say dogs, or you can say 10 dogs. Uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are always singular on their own. You could make them plural by adding words to them. For example, you could say wine or bottles bottles of wine, or but you cannot say wines. And that's all for today's lesson. Looking forward to our next lesson together. Take care and have a great day.